Hi, this is Scott Rosenbaum. I'm with Intimate Solutions and I'm here to talk about the BERT Controls Library, which is an extension made to BERT which allows people to better visualize the data. Now the control library is something that's been developed between Blackboard Incorporated and Invent Solutions and we were using it in-house. We decided this is something valuable to the entire BERT community so we've open sourced the whole thing. So let's start off with a report and I'm going to just go ahead and run this report that is sitting in the report designer here and you'll see that that report is going out and it's doing a cross tab of different status counts for different products for different statuses and you'll see there's a lot of numbers out there but in t understanding those numbers immediately is a little bit difficult so we're going to go get the BERT controls library and as an extension you have to install it and the easiest way to get the library is to go to the BERT exchange and the app exchange. The app exchange is a place that vendors can share controls and applications that work with BERT. So I go here and I see the BERT controls library and I click on the download tab and it takes me to our site where we host it and you'll see that it, there is an Eclipse update site and if I just copy that URL and go back to Eclipse I can then do help software updates available software add site paste that URL in click OK and then I will turn it on. You'll see there's actually two controls there. There's the controls library and the functions library. We're just going to talk about the controls library, but you should go ahead and pick up the functions library anyways. It's kind of cool too. And now the update site is going out and it's analyzing what I already have installed and what those controls need to run. And then it will go ahead and download that for me. Now I will go ahead and click finish and it asks me if I would like to restart and I'm going to go ahead and restart. So the first thing that we'll notice now is that when I go to the palette you'll see I have two new controls here the dot bar and the rotated text and we'll start right off with the dot bar and I'm going to go ahead and delete both of the existing controls I'm going to drag the dot bar in I'm going to set its expression just like I would any other data or type of control I'm going to want to wrap I'm going to set a few colors and that should take care of it. And then I'm going to do it again and this time I'm going to actually grab the world shipments and this time I'm going to go ahead and grab the world shipments and I'll set the color for those Once again I want it to wrap at 10. And now when I preview you'll see that I've actually got dots showing up for each item in my report. And so very quickly you can see wow this is very strange. Why for the United States are there so many items on hold? Something that would have been hard to see otherwise. So we can do just a little cleanup if we wanted to and I have a 
legend here that I put into a report library and I'll just drag that in. I'll also take the rotated text and I'm going to change its expression to be status. I'll set a 45 degree angle, make it bold, make it kind of big, and now when I preview the report you can see I've got text on angles and I've got my dot bar working.